Hi, I'm Greg Jackson. I do consulting for the uh, television show Kingdom, and this is Joe Daddy Stevenson, the legend, who does all the fight training, choreography, trains all the actors, keeps the set together, rescues small puppies, and uh, occasionally, occasionally buys Girl Scout cookies. And I always buy Girl Scout cookies, oh, yeah. whether or not I can eat them or not. This is the men's locker room. Let's take them to the women's locker room. Let's go. Well, guys what we're see, working hold with on here. a minute. These are lockers, in case you're wondering what they look like. Just so you know, those are where you put things in when you're not using them. Here's the girls' locker room. Not as big as the guys. So there's not as many women? Yeah, right. for sure. They don't pay the bills. <laughs> the cardio, women's cardio, kickboxing, and that the kids' classes pay the, pay the bills. That's right. This is the women's locker room, a little, little bit more grungier. You can enter it through this room, too, and we'll just take you through here, guys. It's all secret doors and hidden hidden things. This is awesome. This is a room that goes into Alfie's room. Lockers. Oh, right here, coach. This is amazing. I think it, it brings back when I was a kid and I would watch that show where the kid could go in through the clock and go upstairs. Secret wall. Secret wall. They you move this know, away. We don't show this to anybody. This is a secret. Yeah, no one. Like, this is Alfie's office. And this is where all, if we so need if to take some in. shots, they pull it out. This is, uh, and every coach has this. We this. If you're really germaphobic, the way I am, like super, you cover everything all the time, and you don't let anybody sit in your office. You just awkwardly stand like Dude, this. Dude, this is Alvy's office, so and he's the coach. It's got to be everything about Alvy. So you got his his world titles, his old fight pictures. You got this the board where you're putting on what's coming up um, because we have horrible memories. I think it's the horrible. stuff that I think it's getting hit in the head that does it to us. For our entire life. There's his trophy case and stuff. Um, it's under that. It's under all that stuff. A little, I know it's hard to see, but it's pretty much a I love me room. Yeah, because people like Alvy, they like themselves. Yeah, I mean, because in coaching, coach, you don't really get paid that much in coaching. Luckily, no. he's working with the military, he's working on this show. Coaching, you gotta do it because you love it, and then, the only reward is the honor and the respect and the prestige of having your word mean something. When coach says something in MMA, it happens. So when we first put the set together. Here's um, his pills. <laughs> Whoa, pills. When we per first put the set together, they came to me and said, how would you do a martial arts gym? And so um, we designed, actually in our original set, which was in Whittier, Whittier, uh, we designed that and then kind of kept it the same, but a little bit different. They had their office. Um, this board uh, we had in the uh, movie Warrior where we kind of wrote inspirational sayings and that came over from that. And now we do, like Joe said, because we're not the sharpest tools in the sheds anymore, if we ever were. Uh, so we have that kind of there. But this whole design, though the layout and stuff is very, I mean, part of it's for the set, but part of it's a very um, practical way that I would have designed a gym. And I've designed, I don't know how many to gyms I've moved into as I've gotten bigger over the years, but it's been a lot. So uh, uh, yeah, it was it was from my mind to uh, through all the people that, all the production people and uh, Joe's input, of course. Joe's invaluable. And yeah, here we are standing in. Uh, where are we going next, Joe? Um, well, the dorms. The dorms. And, you, and Dorm I think rooms. this, this uh, especially when you get to the bigger gyms, dorms are a necessity because fighters, Fighters need a place to sleep. <laughs> and this is where you move into from the locker room to the lobby, make your shakes. There's cots over there for about four of them, uh, four different fighters. This is one of the most realistic things. They're so territorial. See how they have all their little, this is actually based on one of my guys who wrote this exact same thing in their locker in my gym in the little Albuquerque, New Mexico. But we would call this the common area. Right? Yeah, I yeah. mean this, it would be, it's weird too because fighters are fighters. So like in the common area, you see beer bottles, you see like, but this is a gym. Yeah, but they're fighters, you know? Yeah. Like I'm surprised it's not a bong. And I wanna show one more highlight of this place. Um, I famously told John Jones to get some fans one time. And so we did that. We got some fans too, just to make sure that we stay in line with reality. You always want to get some fans. It gets stinky in here. <laughs> like no one knows. Upstairs, okay, now we're coming over here. 
Upstairs um, oh, is just a horrible great area to walk on <laughs> and cause noise to ruin shots. But we also, <laughs> this, is, this is an awesome spot. This was an extra blank area, right? They wanted to put some bags up. They wanted to hang them. We secured them to the, to the wall. And the thing is, mat space is priceless. Priceless. And you need a place to work off the fence. So they went ahead and redheaded fencing right here so we could do cage drills here, which was very practical, I thought. Yep. The mirrors make it look bigger. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, let's show them the pro shop, Coach. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. The pro shop's kind of uh, depleted right now because we're off. This is normally the front desk um, where you'd have like G Fuel, body armor, anything you could sell, Rage Athletic stuff. This would have gloves on it. You come in some more, some more fighter stuff. Resting area, some free weights. We haven't even gone into the other weights. No, system. we have to go over there. Um, they're called free weights because uh, they're not in jail. They can they're do whatever free. they want to do whatever. whenever they want to do exactly. it. Exactly. I love that. Here is another place that we were oh, able to utilize more than that. Yeah, so there's more mat space here, so you get different shots, and Joe Daddy. We hang these ropes from here, Coach, yeah, so we can climb them. Is the king of it. And so, that cage is not, how big is that cage, Joe? Um, 20 by 20? 20, 24 so 24, by 24. 24, so it's a little smaller than, than regulation, regulation. It's the actual smallest regulation the size they can have, right. technically. technically. This is a cage, just in the middle. It takes, um, everything is around it because everything is really around the fighters. The fighters don't pay the bills in the gym, but they bring in the clientele. And this tells you when you walk in, we're fighting gym because we got our cage out there and we're just putting it on the table. Really, Joe's right. Like every fight gym that I've ever designed, and again, I don't know how many gyms I've moved to, but it's a lot, uh, has always been, how, where does the cage fit? Joe said it exactly right. Like, he's, okay, the cage goes here and then you build everything else out and around the cage. Um, so that's the, our centerpiece. All of this stuff is free weights from Rage Athletic. Yeah. Um, they did a great job. They hooked it up. It brings, it's really, honestly, background for Jacob's Ladder, who is its own character here. It's such a daunting, grueling workout that I hate this the guy, fighters I do. Um, the faster you go, the faster it goes. The harder, the faster you go, the harder it is. Uh, it was introduced to me by Jonathan Chamber, who's an amazing strength and conditioning guy out of Montreal, and uh, yeah, I would swear by him. Joe does too. This is a 100% working machine too. On the show, it, we show you that it breaks down, but we, I use this on lunch yeah, breaks. 100%. I'm like, okay, cool. I got to get a workout in. I can. I only got a half hour. Well, what will kill me in a half hour? Jacob. That's what he's a jerk. He's a jerk and he never stops. Mm -hmm. That keeps that that's the name Jacob's ladder keeps coming out. So this is a big uh, when when um, Byron asked me what do we have to have in the gym? This is one of my first things just because I won't uh, It's I like won't a $5,000 dollar machine. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. expensive, but it's worth it even in um, on when I work with some special forces and stuff too. We, we put these in our shoot house and you get cooked up before you go in there. It's it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing um, Should we take him? There's uh, our fight mom. Joanna. Hi, Joanna. She's awesome. Yes. <laughs> I would do bodily harm to anyone that she asks. That's true. Luckily, right? There's some people out there. Everybody loves Joe. So that was the gym. Um, it's a, a labor of love from, Joe does most of the work here. I'm in and out. I help out and consult and stuff, but this, the reason this show is so amazing is a lot of these people are obviously incredibly talented, but I don't think Joe gets enough credit. He uh, does all the fight scenes, he does all the acting training, he's just an amazing guy. Um, when you when you first start with something, with somebody, you're like, oh, you know, I hope he does well. Joe has exceeded everybody's expectations. He was obviously born to fight and also do this, so it's really cool to see. This is Joe's, for me, this is Joe's gym. I get to be a guest. This will be the second day I've cried in a row, thanks to Coach. No.